Chapter 25 That afternoon, Mama had come pick me up in her car. I think she believed my story about having to stay late in the computer lab. I was becoming a total liar, and I hated it. After dinner, I called Eli. I needed him to think hard about my Emmy problem. I needed his help desperately. I told him the whole story about stealing the laptop, everything. Eli listened in near silence. Every few minutes, he muttered, Wow! 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 Doesn't help me, I said. What should I do? Jack, it's a no-brainer, he answered. Excuse me? A no-brainer? What? Stop fighting her. Find her a friend, Eli said. Find her a digital friend as fast as you can, and she'll go away. You're definitely right, I said. But what will I have to steal to find the friend? The next morning, I found out. I was walking through the halls of school on my way to the lunchroom. I had the phone in one hand, a backpack bounced on my back. I blinked at a white flashing light. The light bounced off the tile walls. I just got a signal, Emmy said from the phone. A strong signal. You mean that flash of light? I asked. Find it. Hurry, she replied. It didn't take long to find out what made that flash. I turned the corner and I saw Mick holding a little camera up to his face. He was taking Daryl's picture against a locker. He flashed the camera again. The phone buzzed in my hand. That's it, Emmy said excitedly. There's someone in there. I'm getting a strong vibe. Go get it, Jack. I gasped. Huh? Are you kidding me? That's Mick's camera. Do you really think we're going to steal Mick's camera? Go get it. Now. The phone vibrated wildly in my hand. I mean it, Jack. Go get it. No way, I said. Mick will pound me into cat food. I can hurt you too, Jack, she said. Not if I put you away, I replied. I spread my backpack around and jammed the phone deep inside it. I'll find you a friend, I called into the backpack, but I won't steal Mick's camera. You can't do anything to make me. And then I opened my mouth in a horrified scream as my backpack burst into flames.